Dear Aga, iPhone chips, you need to change right now. Your privacy is not in your hands. Your battery is not good. Apple is sending you spam emails. Businesses know all your personal information. Decide to stop it. So I'm just going to show on my iPhone 14. So hold on a second. Yeah. So first, tap your name, payment and shipping. And then you're just going to wait a few seconds. And then face ID to enter. And then you're going to go back and then sign in and security. Yeah. Oh, don't see my information, guys. <laughs> I accidentally clicked that. It's payment and shipping instead of sign in security because that's, yeah. Yeah. And then it's just, yeah. No, yeah. Subscriptions and make sure you don't have any subscriptions because... If you have subscriptions like Tinder and then you never use Tinder, it you're using like thirty dollars, and personal information, and then community purposes, announcements, app music, TV, and more. There's a, another word for all of these: spam. So you want to turn them off because app you don't need Apple sending you stupid stuff. Now. You want to scroll, yeah. And then make sure you don't have any weird devices. So, my Apple Watch, my iPad, and my MacBook, because it recognizes my Windows PC as a MacBook, that's why. My laptop, because I need a game. So, yeah, it thinks it's a MacBook Pro 15. <laughs> so, anyways, now you want to go into the privacy and security settings tracking. If this is on, your privacy is secure, so turn it off. Ask apps to stop tracking. There you go. And then for nearby interactions, nothing in there, so we don't have to turn it off. Sensor and user data collection. Make sure this is off. You can scroll down and then Apple advertising. Make sure personalized ads are off. Apple doesn't Apple doesn't give trash ads, so it's okay. And they won't connect a lot of data for you. And second, turn off yeah, this is data. Yeah, this is all data. So turn off analytics and analytics and improvements. Turn off the switch and turn off everything. Because Apple's not pairing for you. So you don't need to collect data to make their products better. App privacy repair, make sure this is on. If this is on, your privacy is more secure. So yeah. And it stays better like too. Developer mode, make sure this is on. So I enable for PC. You just want to open a MacBook. If you don't have a MacBook, screw you. I'm kidding. Yeah. But if you don't have a MacBook, purchase a MacBook, you poor person. I don't even have a MacBook, but I do enable developer mode because I paid for it. <laughs> or you can pay for it. Or you can use a MacBook and then download Xcode and then use development and then go to the privacy and security settings and enable. Yeah. And battery, I have a charging. Make sure optimized battery charging is on and clean energy charging if you're in the United States. But I'm not, so I don't have that. Now, battery life. So, you want to scroll down. Make sure you have developer mode optioned. Clear trusted computers. If you think your privacy is stupid, um, turn, yeah, click that button. But my computer, I trust it, so yeah. <laughs> Response to this, I'm not testing that, but if you want, clear experience cache in your app clips testing. Scroll down, recent media services, the index all items, forcing to watch, pre AirPod texting. I only have this enabled on my um, second AirPod. I don't have many AirPods, no, I don't want it. So, mail, accounts, which new data? Off manually, yeah, that's that's the best one. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.